Hello, my name is Cynthia Sulars, and I'm the United States representative to the Girls 20 Summit in Sydney, Australia. And now I'm going to tell you about how my father has empowered me. My father, Bronislaw Sulars, used to cut down trees around my house. He'd climb up with nothing more than a chainsaw and a few ropes to tie him to the base of a tree. I would sit as a young girl and watch as he took down these monstrous tree limbs, and I would flinch as they hit the ground in front of me. But my father taught me only to cut down what was needed, mainly the trees that were dead or were poisoned or a hazard to our household or our neighbor's household. He'd cut down the trees that were broken by storms and others that were rotting away. My father constantly taught me to look into my own life also and to take down the branches that were rotting away. He told me to remove the toxins from my life and things that were damaged beyond repair. He taught me that self-loathing and doubt and harmful relationships needed to be removed and that was necessary to make my life safer and to help me succeed. He taught me to be smart and to see when bark was poisoned and was dying and to understand what type of things grew beneath it and how harmful that could be to not only me, but my neighbor's houses as well. He taught me to love myself and to always protect my home. My father, like most fathers, called me the usual phrases that they call their little girls, like pretty and beautiful and sweet. But more often than not, he told me I was smart. But he told me that it was not enough to be smart, that I needed to consistently learn, that there was always things to learn. He taught me I must also be strong, and he told me I was strong. But he reiterated that many times strong people need to be soft, to be open to new ideas, and to let their garden flourish. He taught me how to nurture the trees that gave me shade, to be open to them, the things that brought life into my yard and to my home, and the things that stood tall beside me, and to leave them beside me and let them help me grow and create something beautiful. When my father passed away, I lost a bit of myself. And I started to forget the lessons that he taught me. He taught me to make sure I'd remove everything from my home that was harmful. But I let the toxic things grow. I let them immerse my home and who I am. I let the storm break the same trees that were around my house. And I let them fall. And I let them destroy all I was. And it took me a while to remember the lessons my father taught me. But I know now that in order to succeed, I must consistently work to remove all the pain in the world around me. Because allowing one dead tree to thrive in your yard can set ablaze an entire fire. And I want to live in a world where my neighbors and me and my sisters don't have to worry about fire. They don't have to live in fear of a fire being set ablaze. Because once a fire is out, there is nothing left but ash and dust. And that doesn't allow for anything to grow unless nurtured properly. And I know that many people have gone past that point where their fire is already out. But that's why it's important for others to go around and to help nurture new plants to grow and to thrive and to continuously remove the toxins and the weeds from their yard. I want to make a path that's clear for individuals around me. My father taught me that one must work hard every single day to remove everything that is toxic around them and to protect their neighbors, protect their homes, and to protect everybody around them that means something, that is working to create a better world. This is why I'm working with Girls 20 to help create a pathway for young girls to succeed by removing the societal norms that hold them back, that hold back women from creating a safe space that hold back women from having an uh, economically sustainable job, that hold them back from succeeding. And that's a journey that we all must go to together. We all must create that path. We all must clear the toxins from that path. And that's the most important thing my father told me, is to consistently work with others and to create something beautiful so that all of our houses can thrive and be great. And that's why I'm really proud to be his daughter. Happy Father's Day.